Welcome back, everybody, to more Jean d'Arc. We will be rising. June 25th, Orléans. Orléans. Dead France is returning to life. Our army swells with new recruits. In olden times, men swore fealty only to their particular lord. Now, we fight not for the insolent lords and ladies, but for France. For all of us, Joan is Hooray, France. less feudalism. There is no distinction in our minds. The Dauphin himself has arrived in Orléans. Never have I seen such a celebration. France needs a king, so we must escort the Dauphin to Reims, where he can be properly crowned. Yet, the city of Reims is dangerously menaced by the Anglo Burgundian army. The cities of Troyes and Chalon also bar the way. Job commands that we must liberate all three cities before the coronation, and we eagerly seek to fight. Time to do some liberation. All right, Joan must survive. What a surprise. Uh, travel west to help the help reinforce the French camp. Be wary of opposition along the way. Um, we're in Imperial Age, but cannot produce gunpowder. Pop limit is 125. Gaining control of the river may be a good strategy, but do not squander your resources needlessly on ships. Remember, no cannon galleons. Chalon is the most, or is the closest and most vulnerable of the three English-occupied towns, uh, making them an example of them early. Blah, 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 blah. Remember your objectives. Just destroy the town centers. And then wall of shallows is slow enemy attacks 100%. Um... The Army of France is, you know, going from east to west. Essentially, we're on the south side of uh, a river. I actually don't know which one. Um, English guards will just kill them. And then Chalon is directly north of our camp. They have cavalry and scorpions. Uh, Troyes is to the north of where we start, and they will have pikemen and knights. And Rams is to the far north, and they have a bunch of Imperial aged stuff. And that's more or less the upshot of, <laughs> of all that. Despite being, uh, you know, quote unquote English occupied, Chalon is French. I think they're supposed to represent the Burgundians. But yeah, essentially, this map kind of plays like Highland. Everyone's favorite multiplayer map. Anyway, there are going to be some English guards here, but they are no match for us. Even have a couple Munkers. You can run around these guys, but then they'll just attack your camp as soon as you get to it, or right after anyway. What river is Rams on? Now I'm going to look it up on my phone. Ram. Okay, let's just start this. Rams. River. On Google, don't you be letting me down. The Vessel. Yeah, that's not a big river that I'm familiar with. Anyway, after that very important piece of information is now known to me. And we really don't have that many resources. So we kind of have to uh, start this by being a bit more defensive. But what we do have are all these forge bushes, with uh, Frank's able to make very good use of those, obviously. Also, if I recall correctly, there are some sheepers over here. Yes, there are. Okay. 
Anyway, so, like I said, this map kind of plays out like Highland. So, just like on Highland, we are going to wall the river crossings like they suggested, and then boom behind it. Like the boomers we are. And by we, I mean me. I just say we to make you guys feel more included. Even though I am the one with all the power. Wahahaha. And stuff. Anyway, that's obviously uh, a rather large, annoying shallow to have to wall, but we got her done. Uh, Troy specifically will be annoying in terms of building military buildings on your side of the river. Also, uh, Shalom has some guard towers. They also have chemistry, and I think they make cannon galleons if you uh, spend too many resources making ships and whatnot. Because for some reason, yeah, they have chemistry. For some reason, they have gunpowder, but we don't. But yes, we have finally reached the part of history where there is gunpowder. <laughs> well, I mean, we've been at that part in history for a long time. Ever since, you know, the 10th century. But in terms of frequent military use of gunpowder, probably... What was... Uh, Leiloi was probably the first one. Oh, beloved heater, how I've missed you. It is pretty cold outside today, though, so I am duly grateful for it. Even if it is frickin' loud. Anyway, we're just gonna get up two, three town centers. Hey, Troy, stop being a butt! Oh, house. Oh, uh, they will transport, by the way. So, just because we're walling doesn't mean we're totally safe, but it does help. It just gives us a bit more control. Get this one. Essentially, all of the towers just guard a little bit of gold or stone. Uh, do we get a dock and go for fish? Eh, maybe. I think I'd rather just get more town centers, to be honest. This one's a little bit less annoying to wall, but not by that much. Oh, silly army. But yeah, th this scenario isn't really that hard. Because now we can get to Imperial Age and make trebuchets, and all you need to do is snipe the uh, town centers, and then they... Uh, have to retreat. Watch me lose it. I've had more embarrassing losses. Actually, let's just get another town center with these villagers as soon as that sheep is exhausted. You know, do the thing we do. Round up 60 some odd villagers. Anyway, uh, changes from Age of Kings, Age of Conquerors, uh, 125 pop limit is new, obviously. Oh, come on, don't want the farming villager. Uh, where's a good TC locale? Uh, I guess right here. Makes the, the stone miners a bit more efficient. Okay. 
Eight bûcheron. Oh yeah, we get a couple crossbowmen when we get the military camp, and I think we get a few more villagers as well. Also, we get housed. Um, no, that's just me being bad. There are some more forage bushes over here we can take. Why not? And last guard tower. But they don't have murder holes, so you don't have to worry about it. That's just the tower. I think. Not the scout! Damn it. Yeah, we, we pretty much scouted everything on our side of the river. But, yep, paladins plus trebuchets. Honestly, you don't even need much, if any, military to take down Troy and Shalon just because both of their... Uh, town centers are trebucheable. That, that's a, a word now from the uh, from the shallows themselves. Or as I s called it when I was a kid, rusty stove, because that's what I thought the the villagers were saying. <laughs> Despite my four years of high school French, uh, no part of that education was middle French. Now, as best I understand it, the French language has gone through less change over the, uh, the centuries than English has. Yet again, English nowadays is uh, completely unintelligible to old or even middle English. And I'm not talking Shakespeare, I'm talking, like, what the Britain units say in-game that, as a native English speaker, means uh, either nothing or next to nothing. And there's some things in, uh, like, the what the Franks say, I can understand, like, café. Which directly translates to what do <laughs> you know? What, what what would you like me to do? Which is really what most of the uh, the voice lines say in all the different languages. Rusty stove, rusty stove. Yeah, I'll just get a couple or a few more villagers. Well, this has been incredibly peaceful. Other than you know the the guards that I wrecked in the beginning. Those are all pretty good buildings. Then we'll get a castle. And with that, we can click up to the Age du Imperial. That's a uh, perfect French, by the way. I guess I could have probably gotten the castle a little bit sooner or built a couple buildings, and this is kind of inefficient. But whatever. It's single player, don't. Don't bite my head off, god damn it. This is supposed to be a relaxing break for multiplayer. Unless I'm playing Leloy or something. <laughs> hey. 
Get some stables. Perfect. Imp. Let's get some chivalry. Joan, I hope you like the uh, interior of the castle. Because although Joan's a good hero, uh, she's not, like, that amazing. And certainly not uh, worth risking her life over. Especially, or most especially when you have access to Imperial Age units. Which we do. Knights. Yeah, that's a decent amount of units. I can get fortified wall. But crossbow should be able to take care of it. I don't... Well, I know some of them are converted and some of them we got from uh, Gaia. So I don't think they'll really benefit... Well, at least most of them won't benefit from any techs. Still have some bills over here. Wait. Oh yeah, transporting. Yeah, remember I said when? Remember when I said they will transport units over? Yeah. Just not let them in for free. You don't have to. And in case you didn't know, chivalry affects the uh, research speed of stables, as does the Hun bonus, and as does conscription. Those, all of those, like, buildings work X percent faster, those all affect text research too, which is especially useful when in, in the context of the Frank stable and the Hun stable, to a lesser extent, because you could research Paladin much more quickly. And, you know, Paladin takes frickin' forever to research. And it only takes, you know, 60% of frickin' forever as Franks. And I don't know how that adds with the 33%. I don't know. I don't do math. At least not well. Let's just get a castle over here. There is some more stone hanging around. What? I had forgotten about that. Remember way back in uh, Saladin when you had the, the Tripoli Vanguard in Jihad, Saladin 5, and they were like, charge! Same thing. It, 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 back in AOC they used the same voice line. There's also another one. Crap, which one was that? Oh, Hungary. In uh, Genghis Khan 6, they also use the exact same voice line. I suppose it's better than to legs. Pretty sure I've used that joke before. I don't care. I mean, look how quickly that Paladin upgrade researches. That's like 1% in a little less than a second. Actually, considering it's AoE time, it is probably like around 1% per second. And 100 seconds is very fast for Paladin upgrade. Normally it takes uh, well over two minutes. And there's the Cannon Galleon I was talking about. Anyway, here's the Shalon Town Center. That's going to be ever so difficult to take down. That one's pretty good. <laughs> Castle's all... Oh, Shalom does advance to the Imperial Age. I don't remember them doing that. 
But usually it's just because, you know, you kill them. And... Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, they used to just resign. Now I think they just delete all their military buildings and just, you know, work peacefully. And we're just going to prepare a couple trebs over on this side to go for Troys. And then focus our paladins over here on attacking Rem. I'm pretty sure these guys don't actually help you, like, fight, because they don't have any military buildings. But I do think that it's nice that we're getting the, the vibe that we're liberating these towns as opposed to just destroying them. Because, you know, back in the uh, old versions, the town, like, they would just delete everything. Like, you know, a normal defeated enemy, but that doesn't really feel like you're liberating a town, does it? Um, no. Alright, Rems is an Imperial Age, of course, but we should be able to learn them. Get some more Paladinos. Wait, what? I... Whatever. I think I can range from out here. Then Troy should be even easier. Troy does have a castle, so be careful. And they are walled. But, uh, castle is not well enough positioned. Oh yeah, also, don't destroy the cathedral. That's where we're going to crown the Dauphin, and you lose if you destroy it. That's something that, uh, young Ornlu, or young Ornlu found out the hard way. Anyway, that's going to be Troy's, and we will win. Or Troyes. Huzzah! Mm-hmm. There we go. Anyway, I guess you can't really see much of what the towns were. But, you know, they're the normal towns that we liberated. Volume. As we rode into Reims, a sea of peasants and lords knelt before Jerome. Some even knelt to kiss her horse's hoofprints. Cannon thundered, and a thousand flags danced in the breeze. In the enormous palace, the Dauphin knelt before the Archbishop and rose as King of France. Prayers. Anthems and sermons filled the great chateau. Interspersed among perfumed dukes and ladies were tattered soldiers from our army, many still bearing wounds. Joan herself was at the king's side, as was her bedraggled battle standard. Despite the celebration, I know in my heart that this war is far from over. Our fathers and grandfathers died fighting the English. Joan gives us hope, but I do not know if hope is enough to ensure victory. It rarely is. Still bugged. Eco. Text. All that stuff. Anyway, that was The Rising. Next up will be ever so fun scenario. <laughs> the Siege of Paris. See you guys then.